welcome back to snippet coder and we are back with another video and this is the fourth video of our new series on grocery flutter app using woocommerce as a backend and in this video we will learn about how to create login screen using woocommerce api so before starting the video if you are new to our channel subscribe the channel by clicking on the subscribe button and click the bell icon to get notified about our latest videos thank you so first of all we have to do some modification in our woocommerce for doing that we have to install one plugin that is JWT auth plugin and this plugin is basically used to generate the JSON based web token authentication so you have to go to the uh, that uh, WordPress uh, plugins and from there you have to install this plugin you have to find here JWT auth this is the plugin which I have already installed in my uh, WordPress so the name of the plugin is JWT auth WordPress json web token authentication after installing the plugin and we have to make it active then we have to do some modification in our wp config.php file we have to add one secret key here and this one we have to define there and this is the secret key we have to define so that our token will be generated on the basis of that secret key only so now we will move to the coding part and there we will create the login screen and we will integrate that login screen with that token based jwt uh, woocommerce plugin and uh, then we are able to uh, log in with that uh, woocommerce plugins so we have to add one variable in our config file and we will name it as a static string token url and here the url will be same url we are using for our application then we will have slash wp hyphen json slash jwt hyphen auth slash v1 slash token so here you can see the difference in the previous url which we have used for creating the customer we are using wp hyphen json slash wc uh, then we have a version 3 and uh, WC here stand for WooCommerce and then in the token we are using that JWT auth because we have installed that plugin and that plugin is uh, basically dealing with that uh, generation of token and all and uh, that's why we are using that URL here so now we will create a model file here and we will name it as a login underscore model dot dot file and we will create the class here login response model and here we will define the variables which we will get from that uh, server uh, with the token the first variable will be of bool type and the name of that variable is success then we will have an int type of status code then we will have a string type of code then we will have a string type of message then we will have data here and we will create one data class also and we will have the following variables in this class first one will be string token then we will have in type of id that will be the user id and you can say the customer id then we will have email then we will have nice name then we will have string first name then we will have string last name then we will have string display name and now we will create the constructor here this dot id this dot email this dot first name this dot last name this dot display name and here we will have this dot nice name so now we will add data dot from json map string dynamic json and here we will do the mapping token is equal to json token and then we will have id is equal to json 
ID. And then we will have email is equal to JSON email. Then we will have nice name is equal to JSON nice name first name is equal to JSON first name then we will have display name is equal to JSON display name now we will create one more method that is to JSON map string dynamic to JSON final map string dynamic data is equal to new map string dynamic and then we will map it token is equal to this dot token then we will have data id is equal to this dot id and the same way we will have other variables also email then we will have nice name then we will have display name and here we will return it data so now what we are doing here is so we have created one matter of two json so whatever the output we will get we can also uh, return into the json also that map values so now here we will do the mapping and all we will create the constructor here this dot success then we will have this dot status code this dot code then we will have this dot message then we will have this dot data now the constructor is ready so now we will do json response model dot from json and here we will pass the parameter here of type map string dynamic name of the parameter is json and here we will do the mapping status is equal to json success this will be success and then we will have status code is equal to json status code then we will have code here then we will have message here and here we will have a data and we have to do the mapping and all json and we will check here if not null then we will map it with data dot from json then here we will pass json and data else we will make it as a null so now here we will create one more matter that will be of type map string dynamic to json and here the same variable we will create map string dynamic data is equal to new map in dynamic data and here we will have success is equal to this dot success and the same way we have to define other also and here we will check if this dot data is not equal to null then we will map data is equal to this dot data dot to json and here we will return data so now we will add one method in the api service and that will be a login method so here we have to create one new method that will be name it as a login customer and that will be a return type of future and uh, and here we have to pass that uh, response which we have created in the model login response model login customer and here we have two parameters first one is a string username then we will have string password and we are making it as a async here then we are creating one variable of login response model model and here we are using track h a inside that we will have a one variable that will be of where response is equal to await dio dot post request and here we have to pass the url config dot token url then the data we will pass username username and then we will have password password here and the options we have to pass that header here new options and here we will pass the header and in the header we have to pass the content type http header dot content type header and here the content type header will be application slash x hyphen www hyphen form hyphen url encoded so we have to make sure the content type should be application www form url encoded instead of that 
application json we have to use this uh, content type header then in the response we will check here if response dot status code is equal to 200 that means the user login is valid and we will get the result in that uh, json and here we will do that uh, model is equal to login response dot from json and here we will pass so we are doing that decoding and all here pass here response dot data then here we will return model so we have modified our api service class and we have added one method that will be of uh, login customer method name and what we are doing here we are passing two variable first one is a username second one is a password and return type will be login response model and here we are this uh, we are passing the data with the username and password and the option we are passing the content type header and we are using uh, application www hyphen form hyphen url encoded content type and uh, then we are checking here if the st status code is 200 we are returning that model and uh, we are decoding that data from json uh, we are returning the model file here so now we will create the ui part and we will integrate that api with the ui so now we will create the login page and we will name it as a login page dot dart file and we are making it as a stateful wizard in login page so here we will define two variables first one is a bool type of hide password is equal to true then we will have a bool type of is api call process is equal to false then we will have a global key and here we will pass form state global key is equal to global key form state then we have a two variable here first one is a string username and the second one will be a string password we will modify our widget here and we will return here progress hud and in the child we will pass underscore ui setup and we will create one widget and that will be of ui and then in the is async call we will pass the variable name here is api call process then we will have a opacity 0.3 we are using here so ui part i have already done uh, in our previous video also that uh, http post request video if you have not watched that video you can watch the video so i'm using the same ui and uh, i just copy paste the code here i will explain the code uh, before that i will uh, run the application to show you that how the ui is looking so this is the ui which we have already created in that our previous video also if you have not watched the video you can see the video in the top description you can go and check the video i will explain you what we are doing here so we have created that skatefold widget and inside that we are using the single child scroll view and inside that we are using the columns and uh, after that we are using the stack visit and uh, there we have having the container outer container you can see here that outer white, white box and after that we have the children's and inside that children's first i am using the label here that is login label and then you can see that text form fields and in the on save we are just assigning that uh, username with our new value whichever is entered by user and in the validation we are checking here if text don't have that add the rate and that means that email id should be valid and in the hint we are using email address and in the decoration we are using the input decorations and after that we have a size box for the spacing and all and then we have a password here and the password also we are doing the validations passwords should be more than three characters then we have a obscure text that we are using that variable here hide password then we have a hint text after that we are using the borders and all then we have a prefix icon here you can see the lock icon then we have a suffix icon that visible or invisible here and on clicking it we are just hiding and showing the password and after that we have a flag button also and uh, then we have also created the method of validate and save and now here if i click on the login button you can see the validation is coming yeah now if i put something not like an email it will give me the error email should email id should be valid and the password if i put here one then it will give me error password should be more than three, three characters now it will not give any error when i click on the icon it will show me the uh, password here so now let's uh, put the coding here uh, for that uh, login button method 
and so that whenever user click on the login button it should hit the WooCommerce server so that we can validate the user. So here on the on pressing we are checking if the validate and save then we are calling that API method and here we will initialize our API service class. So that thing we will do in the initialize state here overwrite void initialize state and here we will have API service and here we will initialize it is equal to new API service and here we will check and here we will set state is api async call process is equal to true is api call process true so that uh, uh, we will show the loader before going to the api hit then we will call here api service dot login customer and here we will pass the variables and here we will check if return is not equal to null and here we will check if return is not equal to null then here we will show the message here form helper dot show message title will be woocommerce app and message will be login successful and button text will be okay here we will have the on press event and the else condition we will show the message invalid login so now run the application so now we will add the username password to see is it login or not so we have a valid email id that is raman at gmail.com and this email id is already registered in our woocommerce so you can check here this email id is already registered raman at gmail.com and here we will enter the password a username at password uh, username is raman at gmail.com and the password is 123456 and we can check here now we will click on the login button so here we are getting the login successfully and we are getting the token also so let me show you the token here and from here we can print the token also also we can print the json what we are getting from the server now we will click again on the login button so we get the login successfully and this is what we are getting from the server uh, the J json we are getting first one is a token then we have a id here then we will have the email and then we have a nice name and then we have a first name then we have a display name here so this is what we are getting from that uh, woocommerce plugin that auth plugin we are getting and this is the token we will use to do our uh, further development uh, like for creating the order and for other things and all uh, we will use this token only that will be mapped with the customer only I hope you like the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel very soon I will come back with another video of this series and that might be your home page and in that we will cover that product loading and all thank you all